Our first speaker of the night is a duo. Stephanie Jagger and, Br and Britta Kokomore, AKA Jagger and Kokomore, are Calgary's only female photography duo. They are artists, entrepreneurs, and nature lovers. Please welcome Jagger and Kokomore. Okay, I think we're ready. You wanna press the button? I'm Britta. And I'm Stephanie. And in case you're wondering why there are two of us up here, there's a good reason for that. We've been on this journey together as photographers for close to eight years and have been fortunate with the support of our family, our friends, and amazing clients to build our business together as friends. Our passion for photography has taken us around the world and we have had the privilege of sharing our images globally. Our official title is photographer, but personally we don't actually consider ourselves photographers. We like to consider ourselves visual storytellers who use the camera as our main tool of communication. But it's not about what camera we use or how big our lens is, guys. <laughs> to us, photography is about storytelling. It's about lighting, it's about sending a message, about communicating something from deep inside. Photography comes from two ancient Greek words, photo, which means light, and graph, which means drawing. From the moment photography was invented, it's completely changed the world. Just imagine what our world would be like without photography. Before photography, stories were told and passed on by word of mouth, by books, by letters, drawings, and illustrations. This evening itself is a great example of how images enhance storytelling. Each of us likely has one of these devices in our pocket, a highly powered camera ready to take a photo at any moment. It's pretty incredible. You can take a picture which sets clarity, vi vibrant colors and contrast, and just only a few years ago, this wasn't possible. As photographer David Albrecht said, no experience, no meal is finished, no friendship consummated until we have taken a picture. So now, to prove that we have conquered our fear of public speaking, we would like to take a selfie with all of you in the background. Okay, <laughs> smile. Yeah, woohoo! Okay, one more, real quick. Okay. <laughs> Click, we freeze time. We can all relate to that moment when we have pressed that button at that exact sense second and that we've captured something great. It could be funny, terrifying, provoke emotion or change. But that photo says, I was here, I witnessed this, I met this person, I loved that person. In 500th of a second, a moment in history is frozen. And maybe that's why we all desire to share the pictures we take. Think about it, we put our photos in albums, we frame them, we hang them on walls, we send them out in Christmas cards. Most people would say that their photos would be the first thing they would grab from their house if it were to catch fire. And then, of course, there's Instagram. Instagram now has over 800 million users. It didn't even exist 10 years ago. As a positive, it's a great way to capture and share your photography with the world, as well as a way of self-expression. It has definitely become one of the most powerful ways to communicate information and share our lives with others across the globe. Britta and I love sharing our photos. We're on all sorts of social media and we love to have fun with it, but it's not the whole picture. We all know that cute, candid bikini shot you posted, eh, not totally the truth. Let's all take the moment to reflect on the lengths we took to create that chainless selfie for that perfect post. Hashtag no filter. Instagram and Snapchat, if anything, are just, <laughs> are just highlights that showcase the best parts of ourselves while ignoring the undesirable. Not saying it's bad, but if we are not aware of it, it could mislead us into thinking our lives are missing something. That we are not chic enough or successful enough or that our lives perhaps aren't eventful enough. Just because it's not being showcased doesn't mean it's not happening. Remember the person you envy on social media? They fight with their best friend and their partner too. They cry about stupid things too. They also hate public speaking like us too. They eat too much peanut butter too. And they feel insecure about their bodies and struggle with anxiety and depression too. And when we're looking at all these images and ads, let's not forget about the role Photoshop plays. Photo manipulation has been around since the invention of photography and has been used to persuade, influence, and enhance storytelling. With the takeover of digital photography, Photoshop has also greatly changed the way we view and use images. 
Steph and I use Photoshop every day, and it's a fine line that we walk and need to constantly be aware of. We use it daily to, for creative and technical retouching to enhance a photo or create something that is not reality. Photoshop, like photography, is an extremely powerful tool. Photo editing can make someone look beautiful, but it can also make someone look quite ugly. We can distort bodies in a non-artistic way, which we see in commercial advertising all the time. In these ads, necks are made longer, eyes are made bigger, and waists are slimmed down. And this creates a look that is impossible to achieve, even by models. What we see online and the images we choose to put out in the world are not a true representation of our real lives. It's important to see the difference, in between, see the difference between reality and perceived reality, that we are able to find the disconnect and not be ashamed or afraid to show our true selves. Michelle Obama said, in this world, kids need to see more imagery of other kids who look like them and who, who are doing important things. Our message today is to challenge you to be intentional with what you post. Let's try to empower. Let's try to engage with our photography and social media. Photography can be used to find a new perspective, to see the world differently, and to see it through someone else's eyes. Let's be authentic. Let's show the world that we, what we are, but also what we are not. When Britta and I are photographing someone, we have learned that it is about being in the moment with whoever's in front of us. It's about taking the time to listen to them, to hear them, to earn their trust, to create something that really means something to us, and if we're lucky, it means something to someone else. Stephanie and I are so proud to have come together in a business partnership and turned our hobby into a career. Photography has been a constant in our lives, our vehicle, our anchor, our art form, and a way to see the world, express ourselves, and meet all kinds of people. When asked to present for Pachekacha for the theme not, we started with running through a list of all the things we were not. We're not related to Mick Jagger. We are not men. We're not the best photographers in the world. Our lives have not turned out how we thought they would. Generally, the word not feels like a negative word, but we can confidently say that we are proud of all the things that we're not. In preparing for this talk, we have been deeply challenged to think about how we share our lives and our images with others. We hope you will too. Thank you.